Maybe this time you'll learn. I'll get him next time. <laughs> Thanks for being there, player. You mean the world to me. Like I told you before, Red. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Amity Blight, do you want to go out with me? Yes! <laughs> okay! I'm Trevor Belmont of House Belmont. And who's going to make me go? You? With your bit of string in your hand? Probably not. But let's just give this one last go. <laughs> Hello and welcome, fellow residents of the internet. To every lady, lad, and non-binary chad, welcome to the annual insanity that is me trying to rank, review, and just let you all know what cartoons I watched this year, my, my favorites, my top 10 lists, if you will, Keep in mind the word my, this is not an objective list, this is not the end all be all of list, this is just the top 10 cartoons that I give any sort of shit about in the year of 2021. Now I know <laughs> this video is coming out late, but when have I ever been on time? I I'm pretty sure I was late to my own birth, I didn't come out when I was supposed to, so you know what, just carrying on tradition. Now, few ground rules. I've already laid the first one. This is my list. If you're gonna get angry about it, just leave. No one is forcing you to watch it. I'm not begging you to continue watching or to click on this video altogether. So, if at any point a pick of mine irritates or obsess you, one, I don't care. Two, reevaluate yourself and think why does someone's opinion on the internet affect and trigger you so. Number two, I am not omnipotent unfortunately i am clairvoyant as most of my theories keep getting confirmed but i have not watched everything so a couple shows aren't gonna be here you know the ones you know owl house amphibia there's this one called molly Mo the ghost of molly mcgee or something like that it looks really cute i haven't watched it i wanted to watch star trek lower deck but <sighs> my fans said no because i made a poll and they really wanted me to watch the other option I, I haven't watched as much anime this year as well i really feel bad about that um also wanted to watch my hero academia but i was told not to bother so you know just a lot of things i'll try and put up more cartoons that i just did not watch this year so if you don't see it on the top 10 list and in the honorable mentions i didn't see it this year because i had like two different points of depression so whatever uh there's also this anime i forgot it's i can't remember its name it's gay i wanted to watch it didn't have time and we're officially in 2021 and the rules are i have to have watched it in 2020 doesn't care when it came out it has to be sorry it has to be a 2021 cartoon the only exception to that rule was tmnt last year but it did it, it was its last year and it wasn't gonna air again and i don't know about this gay anime but this gay anime will be in the running for 2022's top 10. Whatever, we've, we've taken too long. Let's get in to the ratings. Starting off very weekly, number 10. Surprising no one or surprising a lot of people. So many people did not think Miraculous was gonna make the list. I had to give it a spot. I'm just that nostalgic i'm just that biased about things i like miraculous makes the bottom of this list because of its potential um 2021 it came out with a lot of episodes the the quality of animation for me personally got better it brought new characters that i liked but it still fucking sucked with how 
um, unfair and kind of hypocritical the show is, but it's miraculous. I, I, I am not a heartless bitch, so instead of me not putting it on the list, here, have number 10. Moving on, number 9, another disappointment. Okay, let me not say disappointment, but see, I forgot I watched this. I, I changed computers, so I went on my old computer saying, okay, what did I watch in 2021? Because uh, I, I could forget something. And I just saw Beastars and I was like, ha! I forgot this shit came out this year. I think I should rank it higher, but I can't. For the fact that I actually forgot I watched this. Is what had it, it just had to be done. I'm remembering the characters, the plot, the storylines. It wasn't season one, but the fact that I forgot it, it's what's killing me on the inside. There are other shows on this list that I watched like in January and I still knew they'd be on my list. But B Stars just faded into the ethos. I think I watched it in July or August, August or something, middle of the year. So for me to remember something in January but forget something more closer to the end of the year, just my guy you were done and what a fall from grace it was number one last was it number one i forget my own list no b stars was never number one i was going through some list and i remember seeing b stars as number one whatever it was at a high rating last time on to the surprise of this entire pick number eight the owl house yes I know I said at the start of this video that I have not watched this show, but imagine how sad it must be for not only Miraculous to be beat out by a show I forgot, but also a show I did not watch. I have heard so many good things about The Owl House that the fact that me not watching it is irrelevant to the conversation. It's good. I love the characters. I love the representation. I love where it's going. Everything about it is good. And you think that'd be the driving reason for me to watch it, but I don't know. I'm just happy seeing it from the sidelines. So I just had to give the Owl House a spot. It cannot dominate everything because it deserves to be higher on the list. For somebody who has actually watched the show, I'm pretty sure this would be in the top three. But for the fact that I didn't watch it, it's down here. But for the fact that he's on this list, despite me not watching it, it's groundbreaking. It has broken all the rules so far. Oh my god. So, let's get back to shows I actually have watched and that my fans will not want to murder me for because I'm pretty sure some people will be so pissed that this is here. <laughs> on to number seven. This was just a fun time. Just, just a fun time time if it's not the best it's not groundbreaking or anything but all the other shows in comparison except the owl house were such letdowns and disappointments again i really do think b star should be above this but i forgot the damn show i'm sorry but that is a point i have to remind myself because it hurts um but skate because i think i watched it closer to the end of the year it was so fun it had such subtle hints of gay and you know how we love gay in this household so for that just a fun time fun characters one character that i am obsessed with um very will i say nice messaging it's just your fun typical sports anime and it doesn't have to be any more than that and you know good for it to be like in the middle of the list moving on to another disappointment that was so look the anime this year was anime the shows this year were very good but some of them were just so disappointing which leads us to number six. Another show that I th almost forgot, but I at one point I paused and said, wait a minute, didn't I watch Attack on Titan this year? And I was on that thought for a while. I was like, no, Attack on Titan was on my list last year. Then how can it be on this year? Wasn't there a big break? And I just finally realized, oh, the theme song! Ha! The, the They reached the part of the manga where I stopped reading because... Oh no, I didn't make a review for this, did I? Maybe I said it in my last top 10 video, but... The show has finally reached the point where I stopped in the manga was after Kenny... Kenny? <sighs> wow, it's been a while. 
after Levi and the glasses guys fight, I can't remember names right now, after their fight and Levi won and you had the brother just chopped up with like the sword in his mouth and everything, I just tapped out. I was like, you know what, my anxiety, I can't. So we've gone beyond that, but I think we only went a couple episodes beyond that, but there was nothing really memorable of the show. Nothing really stands out to me even now as I'm thinking about it because I like to do this top 10 list a lot from memory. It's how much has it ingrained itself in my psychosis that ranks you on this list. And for the fact that I don't remember a lot speaks a lot. But also, it's Attack on fucking Titan. Of course I'm gonna rank it high. I'm not mental. But it being number 6 hurts. But... It's Attack on Titan. Again, I, I, I could physically not rate it any lower, but because of, again, can't remember much, can't rate it any higher. That's just basically this whole list. It was good, but I can't remember. <laughs> on to the next one. Number five. A show that came out in 2020 but I watched in 2021 so it gets on the fucking list is Wolf Walkers. I watched this I think January, February, March. Also another show I forgot I watched but I was going through my computer. I remembered it and I remembered all the feelings I got from it and I was like oh my god. But, and here's the thing with Attack on Titan it's a show that's almost always in the mind of pop culture same thing with kind of b stars as of recently so me forgetting them was more egregious than me forgetting this almost one-off show but the characters the animation the beauty the message everything it, it was such a nice show it was so peaceful kind of beautiful and i think i watched it in a day or two a day i think a day but just a cute little show about like I don't want to call them cute little lesbians because they kind of became sisters by the end. But just a non-traditional western story. Well, I think it was set in Europe, which is basically western culture, I guess. Whatever. Nice characters, nice story, heartwarming tale, and yeah, yes, I forgot about it. But I do, I knew that there were shows I was gonna forget. So me going back to find shows I forgot meant that this did leave an inkling in my mind to go check. That is the excuse I am using moving forward. Number Wait, 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 wait. We have some revelations. And by revelations, I mean I'm editing the video and I found out my own mistake. But we have a disqualification afoot. Wolf Walkers is not an animated series. And only animated series make it on this list. I know, I know. Hold your gasps of shock. I was surprised too, because I could have sworn this was a series. But it works out in my favor, because while I was making this list, I remembered a show that I didn't rank. So now that I've canceled Wolf Walkers, I can just put that show in its place. So our new number five spot is... Kill Force! I did not forget the show. Let's just make that clear. I forgot to rank it. I literally thought I had Q-Force on this list and then I was like, wait a minute, where the hell is this? And I just scrambled to try and find where to rank it and I was gonna rank it as like 2.5 but then I was like, oh wait, there's a spot cleared up. So here it is here. Q-Force was the show that did not deserve what it got at all and if I was gonna give any sort of medals, I'll give it like the number one trooper of 2021. It deserves that accolade because despite the trailers, despite the hate, despite the negativity, it still was able to carve a fan base that was willing to give it a chance. It was a good show with amazingly memorable characters, one of the most memorable characters. The only other show that outranks it in memorable characters is the one that's number two, but even then it's kind of not fair, it was kind of like a low blow. But in terms of fun, active, engaging characters, Q-Force takes it by a long shot. I can still quote some of the most memorable lines from this show. It's my video on it, my favorite scenes. I did not think that video would, would, would do anything, but it just blew up to just show that there's a lot of people that just like the jokes. Everything just lands. It's funny. Oh my God, this show is so funny. Whereas a lot of shows try to be funny and you can just tell that they're trying and it's kind of awkward where they even pause expecting a laugh track. I 
I don't think any joke missed in Q first for me anyway. So if you haven't watched it, I implore you from the bottom of my heart to give it a chance. The trailers did it dirty and any reviewer that is talking about it negatively is literally only doing it for views because they know that's the trend. That's what would get them views. And that's sad. And all other reviewers refuse to talk about it because they're afraid. Fucking cowards. I'm gonna call you out. I'm gonna make a video about all of you. Back to this. That's it. Q-Force replaces Wolfwalkers because I was stupid and forgot Wolfwalkers was a series. Now that I think about it, I should really start involving like animated movies on this list. But this list is already chaotic enough without me adding that. So let's just move forward. Number four. I know this a few I, I can't remember was it like the last few episodes of this season or this season the last season came out in january but for those of you who remembered this happened earlier this year i thought i started to tear up but i was fine but the scene that fucking got me was carmen talking over the phone to player saying he means the world to her <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay. Um. Oh. <sighs> Fuck, it hurts. <laughs> I'm crying laughing because I don't know what else to do. It's so sweet and I hate how it makes me feel. <laughs> Yeah, there was no way on this god-given earth that Carmen San Diego wasn't gonna be in the top picks. I knew, I fucking knew that a show that would render me this emotionally distraught was gonna make the list. I already pegged it as my top three, but one episode, one, one fucking show, well, two fucking shows came out by the end of the year that just bumped it down. So I'm sorry, Carmen. You were gonna be so much more higher, but fucking hell, these other shows, man, th 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 this year was a beast. Now I know, I know, you guys might not like my, you know, 0.5 picks or my tie picks, but I'm gonna have to hit you with a double whammy. I forgot, like, I didn't forget, when I was making the list, I forgot to put them on here, but I didn't forget the shows, so number 3.5 is a tie because i literally literally remember them as i hit record <laughs> it's a tie between when you want somebody gone and you don't want to wait too long call the immediate murder professionals and first of all how did i forget to put these anywhere on the list and like i said i hit record and i was just not mentally prepared to reorganize everything because i knew if i did miraculous might get bumped out of the entire list so we're just gonna do this hell of a boss the episodes i liked came out in 2020 but 2021 really had some bangers hey wait 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 should hell of a boss be this high Oh no, the second to the last episode of the season. Yes, 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 we'll leave you here. Oh my god, I was about to say, wait, what, what episodes actually came out this year that would rank higher than Carmen San Diego? <laughs> but no, yeah, I remember. Stolas, Blitz, Breaking Up, yup. I already have a lot of re reviews on Hell of a Boss, so you know my thoughts on that. But again, just a groundbreaking show in, in the indie animation scene. Just... How can something independently funded be better by be animated better by big corporation studios? Hell, even the next episode that it ties with, it, Hell of a Boss has better animation than it. Well, even in fights. Well, there's some parts where the animation isn't good. But let's just say Hell of a Boss is the animation side of 3.5 and Invincible is like the action side. Speaking of Invincible, Invincible, when it came out, I was sure this would be number one. <laughs> I was dead ass sure nothing would knock Invincible out of its spot. But the only show I thought that would knock Invincible was like Attack on Titan. And here it is being like 2.5 ranks higher. So 
and invincible was just a groundbreaking show that came out yes the story wasn't new or revolutionary it told stories that were kind of from like i think the early 2000s of comic book comic book storytelling but it was just fresh it was new it was interesting it was engaging it was an experience that the internet experienced and it deserves to be a lot higher on this list but again some bulldozers came in by the end of the year <laughs> so invisible i'm sorry i have to tag you on in the middle of two other numbers but hey 3.5 is not bad especially with this year of animation moving on to the top three the big boys the ones that 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 hit me a little too well coming in and number three is young justice yes this list is rigged you knew it from the start no way no way in hell am i rating young justice less than a three people hate this season people call it trash people have issues fuck all of you nostalgia alone is why this shit is here but also i love this season i love the characters the to the storytelling the diversity yes i said it i like the diversity me the one who hates all that bull crap but young justin did it so well and they have a muslim character who is well written my god do you have any idea how many times i have to stop myself from fainting this season because of how so many things just relate to me personally i feel seen i feel loved i feel accepted i'm gonna cry right now so this show 100 thousand percent deserved the number three spot and i do not care what you think this is my list my rules bugger off and make your own this is to the people who are being mean to the people who like this stuff i love you let me know what your top 10s are in the comment section down below i should be saying this at the start of the video not now but whatever i've never been a proper youtuber anyway number two okay hear me out this show would have been number one no questions asked i am i already have my review video done it's 30 minutes long please watch it if it comes out but there was uh, how do i even start this the only reason this show is number two is because it's a tragedy i don't like sad stories i like happy go lucky stories but at the end of the day this shit is a fucking masterpiece a master class in every sense of the word storytelling animation character designs pacing character designs my god the characters in the show are beautiful to look at god but even though the story is kind of run-of-the-mill basic but it's told so well that you're like i don't fucking care but the only point that knocked it down was that one thing that this was a tragedy there was no jokes in this show there was no haha -ha moments everything was somber from beginning to end this show is real life and i fucking hate real life i go to cartoons to escape that shit so that was the only reason why this got knocked down
Okay. Here we are. Number one. And this is a funny story. Because when I started making this list, I had one show that I ranked all the others. I put this show, I said, okay, I'm putting this show at number three. And any show that I think is better will be above it. Any show that I think is below will be beneath it. No other show went above it. So by the end, I was like, oh shit, this is my number one. Oh no, this cannot be my number one. But it is. It is. And coming in at number one, my number one favorite cartoon of the year 2021 is... Castlevania. The, oh my god. I had to go check. Castlevania has consistently gotten my number one pick. Every single time. I think the only one that didn't get a pick was season two. I can't remember. But let's just say season one and two were the same thing. But listen, listen, listen. There has not been a show ever that has gotten number one consistently like this show. Hell, I remember at one point I brought out my phone when the whole scene with the big axe lady was happening and I felt so bad and I was thinking oh my god is this show boring or anything and I, I felt that kind of deducted points for it because there were moments that I was tapping out but that was just me as a human being nothing against the show everything everything from start to finish I'm gonna cry thinking about this that final boss scene look 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 why 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 are Trevor's fight scenes the things that make me say you know what you're gold but in this case I didn't even think Castlevania would come out on top because I knew the other heavy hitters that came out this year but when I was making this list I just said hey Castlevania you're number three okay um Young Justice and eh, not better than it Arcane eh, not better than it and by the time I was done with the list, I said, oh shit, it's still number one. Oh, okay. The people are going to be mad. Because I swear to you, even I thought Arcane would be number one. But I, ca I can't. I, ca I cannot explain to you why. But Castlevania. 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 I should marry someone in that show, on, on that crew. Oh my god. I was just about to say I should give up my virginity to them, but but that's a bitch much. But not really. They deserve everything good in life. Everything. They deserve all the love, support. I hope they go on to do bigger and better things. I think they're gonna do a time skip and go to like Trevor's great to the end powers grandkid. And then Castlevania will just continue to dominate my list till the end of time. But I don't care. So long as they give me good shows, I will watch them. So thank you for watching whatever the fuck this was. I, 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 this year was stellar for animation, but at the same time, it kind of wasn't, but it was, but it wasn't. What the hell happened? I think with a lot of shows that are like continuation of some things, we've had like preconceived notions of how good they were. Attack on Titan, hell even Young Justice, but it's still great, fuck you. Um, Beastars, Miraculous, all these shows, but they did not hold up to previous iterations of the shows and seasons but they still had epic moments that just live on in your mind and then we have new newbies that just destroyed the scenes like arcane and invincible and even though hell of a boss is still kind of a newbie um wolf walker wasn't this year but all these new shows and old shows everything coming together and there's, there's the ones that i just didn't watch all together what a time to be alive and i look forward to what 2022 will bring for us because it is just a wonderful time to be alive as somebody who likes cartoons. Cartoons now are no, hopefully no longer viewed as, oh, you're such a baby. Oh, why you going to be the Cartoons are being respected. They're being understood for the feasible medium that they are. And they're no longer being looked down upon. And I think shows like Arcane and Castlevania, even Young Justice, Fight Me, uh, even Wolf Walkers are just breaking new grounds in storytelling and what adults and kids can enjoy well arcane and castlevania shouldn't be for kids but wolf walker can be um young justice also can be for kids but mm, no i don't think so regardless show um animated shows are breaking the boundaries and are doing what they needed to be done what needed to be done oh god where it's a medium of storytelling it's just not something for kids it's primarily used to tell stories to children but it's being utilized effectively 
not everything can be portrayed in live action as we've seen with some garbage live action iterations of shows movies tv shows and childhood classics animation is animation for a reason and i'm happy with that okay i'm rambling thank you for watching thank you for being here i look forward to reading what your thoughts comments and opinions are on your own list and mine as well in the comment section down below so long as they're healthy productive supportive and not being douchebags or dicks because again i don't care what you think this is my list god damn it but yeah thank you for being here i love you have a good day anyway don't forget to like comment subscribe do all the things and but with that being said this is tbc Mwah. signing out <laughs>